see much more benefits of it because I believe that everything happens for a reason. I want to talk about um, what are the benefits of being injured. So there are a few benefits. There's also no, uh, some that are not beneficial at all. Let's talk about the benefits. So first benefit, you always you get a mental break from training. When I talk about mental break, you have a mental um, fatigue. You, you're running out there every day. You're kind of repeating yourself. Um, same training block, same routine every day, and it gets mentally challenging to just repeat that process over and over and over again just to uh, succeed in your training. You also allow your body to just recoup itself and heal its body. So when you're out there pounding on the pavement every single day or six or five times a week, you only get two, one or two, or even zero rest days. And every day you do that, you're just pounding on the pavement and you're causing yourself to miss your body that you think you're recovering um, with the roller and all that uh, recovery stuff, but you're not officially recovered. And with this break that you get, no matter how long it is, like say a week or even three weeks, or I don't know how long ever your injury is, say my, for instance, my instance, six weeks. Well, you, I get to allow my body to recover, recoup, just recoup my mental um, aspect, my body, just every muscle every bone every part of my body just to recoup itself it's going to allow you to listen to your body more and allow you to train smarter when to take days off when not to when to train harder when to train light when not to train at all um it will allow your body to see the uh, effects of training more like you're able to pinpoint oh maybe i not need to not train this day because half hurts or my um, leg my muscles are super tight um there's something obviously wrong um, i'm gonna take today off because you learn not to take your body for granted you learn not to take training for granted you once i'm done with this injury i'm gonna have a better perception of why why i'm thankful for running times get tough i try to take my mind off the fact that i can't uh run i won't be able to race march 7th i try to take my mind by doing other things it will help. run another way is to think about it you you can find new hobbies like one reason i've been working on youtube a lot more trying to get my subscriber count up and everything because this running uh break is allowing me to find new hobbies new things to take my mind off of the fact that i can't run so that's another aspect that is a uh, beneficial to not running at all but it's going to allow you to see that don't take training for granted. If you don't feel like running that day because you just don't feel like running, you're fine, your body's fine, you just don't feel like running that day, well, you're going to start to see that, wow, I'm really lucky to be running. There, There's a few aspects to where, wow, about a week ago, I wasn't able to run. I wasn't even able to step on my foot without uh, me cringing in pain because it hurt. Um, it's just going to allow your body to just realize or your mind to realize that running is probably the best thing that has happened to me in my life. If you didn't follow a healthy diet before or follow any supplements, you're definitely going to start doing that now uh, since you're injured and you want to get there back out there as soon as possible. So it's going to help you see the benefits of a healthier diet. What It's going to help you find the certain micronutrients that uh, you need to recover, like protein ratio that you need to recover and feel better and what vitamins you need, the minerals you need, all that good stuff. It's going to help you realize that, well, I need this to feel my body good. Not cookies or uh, cake or anything. I need greens. I need uh, chicken. I need something, eggs, pro like just a bunch of protein, complex carbs, all that good stuff to feel good, not cake. I mean, so I did about a cheat meal every time after my long run to replenish glycogen and just treat myself to an accomplished workout. But I don't do that right now, really. I'll occasionally have a cheat. Like two, day, two days ago, I had a king cake to celebrate Mardi Gras. Happy Mardi Gras, everyone. Um, but because I need it, I just wanted to have a king cake because 
I wanted it, and it's the end of Mardi Gras, and I'll never get it again, probably until the next year. Uh, so I just did that. But I'm focused on more on a healthier diet. Make sure to get my micronutrients in, my vitamins, all that good stuff to make sure I'm recovering and healing properly. The non-benefits of being in, there are tons of non-benefits of being injured. There, There's the mental fatigue that, wow, I can't go out there and run. I'm going to cry myself to sleep. So you also got the uh, learn how to the run mechanics again. Get the body started back at running again. I'm going to make you compare yourself to your old fitness level. Uh, where you were at a few weeks ago before you were injured. It's going to make you feel like you can't run anymore. You can't do whatever kind of activity you can do anymore. It's going to make you start worrying about your fitness. It's going to start making you worry about every little aspect of training and that gets mentally tired best thing to do is not to worry about it and just realize that when your injury is done you'll be able to start fresh you'll be able to start new re it's gonna sure you might have to relearn some of the mechanics but you might be able to since you have to relearn the mechanics why not improve your mechanics for running why not start off good and end if you were if you had a terrible cadence and you kind of forgot the run mechanics why not just Rest, uh, restart you have to restart considering you took however long off so why not try to teach your body the right stuff the right form the way the right way to do things and slowly progress and do things like that you don't want to get too carried away the first day and you allow your body to realize that you can gain much more out of it too how not to get injured again and re-injured and all that good stuff i think i'm literally repeating the same stuff over and over but the thing is, what I'm trying to get at here is don't worry about being injured. It's gonna, there's gonna be much more benefits of it because I believe that everything happens for a reason. There's never a reason why you got that and there's no benefit to coming out of that injury or anything that bad happened to you. That bad thing will actually turn into a good thing whether you know it or not. Maybe this injury was due to me for not getting hit by a car or something that ended my running career forever. We'll never know the official reason, maybe, but it's to help me relearn the great mechanics of running. Maybe it's just to give me a break um, there for me to know how not to get injured again and hurt myself. All right, guys, that's a video. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and click here, right here, like right there. All right, guys, peace.